Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Mason, and welcome to Mason Zero MTG. Today we're in a, uh, I guess I'll say in-person style video. I'm physically here on the camera. Uh, and what you see before you is my cube. If you are here because you saw my cube video that I put up a little while ago, uh, then th this is that cube. Uh, it is always changing, so there are some changes since that video has come out. Quite a few, actually, because I took some advice from uh, my friends who played it with me, as well as a lot of Reddit and YouTube comments, which I really appreciated. Uh, that was the first real time that my cube had been drafted, uh, so I was expecting to learn a lot. Uh, the latest thing that I want to take from it is uh, actually downsizing it. So it started off at 360, but what you see here is 540. Uh, as much as I love cramming as many cards into here as possible, I think I should really put it down to 360. Um, I think that'll just tie it all together very well. There will be cards that I'll take out that I like, but really don't um, add as much value to the cube. So I'm just going to go through it color by color and see if anything can be taken out. So I'm going to start with white. And basically my system here is I'm going to have three piles. I'm going to have a pile of cards that are definitely staying, a pile of cards that I could consider getting rid of, and then a pile of cards that I'm definitely getting rid of. So let's start. So first we have Thraven Inspector. That's an easy keep. That one's sticking around. Uh, Kithion I think is great as well. I think a lot of the white one drop creatures are probably going to stay. Uh, you know, Mardu, Woe Reaper, also very, very useful. Step links. I think I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. I can see that uh, not lasting. Same with Toolcraft Exemplar. Uh, I, I will have to evaluate that based on how many artifacts I end up uh, keeping in the cube. Um, Mother of Runes, definitely good. I'll keep that. Soul Warden, um, I think I want to keep uh, a life gain theme. So... I'll put it, I'll put it in the maybe pile. We'll see what happens. Doom Traveler, that's. Mm, I think if we're gonna cut anything, Doom Traveler should probably be it as far as uh, one drops. Soldier of the Pantheon is good, keeping that. Herald of Anafenza, that can go. Um, it was kind of just a filler, anyways. Hammer Militia Captain. I think this card is good. I'm gonna put it in the maybe just in case. Uh, Lone Rider, I'm going to put in the maybe pile for the same reason as Soul Warden. If the life gain theme ends up staying, then I'll keep it around. Uh, Knight of the White Orchid, I think, is great. That's going to stay in. True Heart Duelist, uh, I don't think it's individually powerful enough, so that's going... Actually, let's just put that right in the no pile. I don't think it's going to stay around. Glory Bound Initiate, on the other hand, is quite good. Seeker of the Way, I like a lot. Uh, Hero of Eros, I would like to keep white and I, I suppose a bit of green as well in the uh, enchantment sub-theme. I might switch it over to just auras and not regular enchantments, uh, which will make this card much better, so I'll keep that. Hidden Dragon Slayer is a lot of fun, uh, I would like to keep that as well. A Johnny's Pride Mate, another life gain card, so I'm going to put that in, put that in here. Same with Nyx Fleece, Ra oh. You know, I actually think I like Nyx Fleece Ram, just as a card. Uh, Sun Scourge Champion can probably go. I'll keep it in the maybe pile just in case. Flicker Wisp, good, but I'll keep it in the maybes. Uh, Mirror Entity, I think I'm going to get rid of all of my tribal um, things that I have going on, just to sort of streamline things. But I think this card is still good with that uh, buff to everything. So I'm going to try to keep that around. Uh, Vryn Wingmare. Maybe it can go. It's nothing too exciting. Uh, Mentor of the Meek should definitely stay. Silverblade Paladin should definitely stay. Preeminent Captain can go. That's for sure. Banisher Priest. I just picked up this promo yesterday, actually. Uh, that can stay. Graceblade Artisan. Yeah, I'd like to keep Auras, so let's keep that. I have all of the archetypes. I think I'm going to get rid of most of them, but I'm definitely keeping the Archetype of Courage. It's very aggressive. Uh, Thalia, very good. Keep her. 
Eidolon of Countless Battles. Let's keep that as well. Erish and Foremost. No, we're not doing Warriors. Restoration Angel. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to put this in this pile just because I put Flicker Wisp in the pile, but I imagine that I will keep it. Um, Benelish Commander, that one can go. That one wasn't that great anyways. Oketra the True, keeping that one. Ranger of Eos, definitely keeping that. Wingmate Rock, I think is really good. Uh, Crested Sunmare, we'll put that in the maybe, depending on if we keep life gain. Same with Sunscorch Regent. But Avacyn is worth keeping. Karmic Guide is worth keeping. Captain of the Watch, we'll, we'll put it in a maybe. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be Soldier or Tribal. It's just a good army card on its own. And Sun Titan, we will keep as well. Uh, now on to Planeswalkers. I think I'll just probably keep the two Planeswalkers that I have in each color. Um, I don't think I'll worry about that. Secure the Wastes, I think, is good on its own. And it scales, so I'll keep that. Swords to Plowshares, good. Valorous Stance, good. Dawn Charm. Um, I think Dawn Charm is also also good. I have all the charms, and I've already started getting rid of a couple of them. Um, so I'll probably get rid of some of those, but the white one is definitely staying. Entrapment Maneuver. Uh, I'll put that in the maybe. Fragmentize, good sideboard card. Trashy's Grasp, same thing, removal. Uh, Windborn Charge, yeah, we'll see if Pump Spells make it, put that in maybe. Righteous Confluence is fun, Austere Command, that's good. Uh, if we're keeping Auras, we have to keep Ethereal Armor. Cartouche is good. Um, probably get rid of Soul Snare if we're getting rid of non-Aura enchantments as a theme. Conviction is good with Auras. I think Blind Obedience is just a good card. Ordeal of Heliod. Uh, we'll reevaluate. Actually, no, I think I have a lot of tokens. I'll, I'll keep Intangible Virtue in. Ghostly Prison is good. Oblivion Ring is good. Always Watching. We'll do a maybe. Griffin Guide. Mm, sure. Uh, Banishing Light. I'll put that as a maybe. Mobilization can go. If we're not doing Soldiers. Cast Out is a maybe. Reverence is a no. Faith's Fetters is a maybe. No, that's a yes. That's, that one's an aura. Ordeal of Heliod is a maybe. Starfield of Nyx is a no. So we're cutting the non-aura enchantments theme. Granted, there's a few enchantments here that I like. Um, but we'll see if I end up keeping them or not. We'll make white more creature-based than it currently is. So, so that's white. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, let's these piles up here. So let's do blue next. Uh, blue we're going to sort of do the opposite and try to make less creature based and more spell based. Currently I have probably more blue creatures than I should. So let's see what we got here. Um, I really like Siren Storm Tamer and I really like Delver of Secrets of course. Frostwalker can probably go. Uh, I'll put it in the medium. Phantasmal Image, I think, is just a fine card. Thing in the Ice is fantastic. Illusory Angel can probably go. Cryptoplasm, I think, is a lot of fun. Can copy stuff. Um, I want to try to keep the flying synergy. Well, do I really, though? Do I want to keep flying as a synergy or just have a lot of blue flyers? I think we'll just have a lot of blue flyers. So let's get rid of the Warden of Evo Sile. Master of Ethereum, I think I want to keep artifacts in blue. Um, I'll see about green, blue, plus one, plus one counters. I, th I think I'm going to keep it, so let's keep the Simic Manipulator. Uh, Surikar Spellblade, that's a maybe. I think it's just not as good of a card. Mana War is good. Academy Elite is a maybe, even though it has counters. Even Fleetwing is a yes for the Hexproof. Nibbles of Frost is good. Void Mage Husher is interesting, but I'm not sure if it's worth playing. Dungeon Geist is good. Herald of the Secret Streams is good if I keep the counters, which, yeah, I, th I think I probably should. That's sort of an enabler card for that. Fairy Artisans is great. Or the Rogue is good. 
Disciple of the Ring. Let's put that in a maybe Mole Drifter, which I, I just got a foil. Uh, let's keep that. Ether Sworn Adjudicator. Let's maybe that one. Paragon Drake is good. Grelf's Masterpiece. Let's ditch that. The Monic Wall is good. Icefall Regent. Let's maybe. Arcane Savant is just insane whenever I've seen it. Uh, and if you didn't see the cube video, um, then I'll explain <laughs> what happened in the last game. Uh, my friend Todd, who was in that video, got Arcane Savant, and then he named um, Peru Ultimatum with it, which was just crazy. He'd play Arcane Savant, you know, on turn five and Peru Ultimatum for free, and yeah, it was just uh, just good. So we'll keep Frost Titan. Kaiga, the Tide Star, is good. Uh, let's maybe Uyo, Silent Prophet. Let's just ditch the archetype of imagination. Keep Magus of the Mind, and we'll do a maybe on Gear Seeker Serpent. And we'll keep both of these Planeswalkers. All right, now we're on to the spells. Uh, I think Repeal is a maybe. Piracy Charm. Yeah, let's get rid of Piracy Charm. Condescend is fine. Quicken is fine. Read the Runes is fine. Brainstorm is, of course, good. Rapid Hybridization is pretty good. Sensor, Disdainful Stroke, Anticipate. It's hard to cut blue uh, card draw. Let's put Into the Royal into a maybe, but definitely keep Impulse and Counterspell and... Uh, mana Leak, Essence Scatter, Memory Lapse, Perilous Voyage, all fine cards. Um, I'm not, I, I think it's worth getting rid of one of these. I'm not sure if Perilous Voyage or Into the Royal is, is better. Um, there's kind of a cost benefit to each. I personally like Perilous Voyage a little more. Uh, Scrying 2 is kind of like drawing a card. Obviously, you don't get the card, but you get a lot of good filtering. Um, keep Psychonic Rift for sure. Keep Forbidden Alchemy. Rewind, I like the untapping. Insidious Will, I think is... I think I like Insidious Will. Etherize, it's kind of a blowout. Dismal Failure, we can cut. Counter Spell, draw a card. Don't really need that. Or uh, this card a card, sorry. Um, spell Swindle, keep that. Serum Visions, Chart of Course so hard to cut blue. I think exhaustion can go away. It's kind of fun, but I don't think it's really doing much. Uh, deep analysis, I just added. Tezzeret's Gambit, I think, is fun with, you know, proliferate. Uh, Brawl's Expertise is good. Part the Water Veil for an extra turn card. Treasure Cruise, Ordeal of Thassa, that can go, I suppose. Riddle Form, can put that in this pile if we really need to. Claustrophobia is fine, Thopter Spy Network for the Artifacts, Control Magic, and let's get rid of Gravitational Shift if we're not going to go so hard on the Flying Synergy. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Alright, now let's go with black. And it's, it's kind of painful to cut all these things, but, you know, I gotta do it. I think 360 will uh, streamline everything quite a bit. Uh, and of course, let me know in the comments if you agree with these choices, uh, things that I should cut, things that I should keep. Um, I'm willing to take advice. Uh, a lot of you guys have been doing cube for longer than I have and have a little better idea of power levels and synergies and stuff like that. So with black, uh, blood Soak champion is good. So let's keep that guy. Thornbow Archer, uh, I think if we keep Elves, we're going to keep it in just green. So let's get rid of Thornbow Archer, even though it's a fine card. Uh, Tormented Hero, I like. Mardu, Shadow Spear, I uh, also like, but let's put that in the maybe. Bloodchain Rager, it's Warrior Tribal. Let's get rid of that. Asylum Visitor is nice. Disciple of Grizzlebrand, um, I'm going to maybe that. I don't have a ton of sacrifice, uh, but again, this is a life gain card, so we'll see. Air of Falconrath, I like. Blood Artist, I really like. Uh, oh, and we got all the Black Goblins. I'm just going to ditch all of those. 
Um, spiteful returned. That's a maybe. Gifted Aetherborn. Good. Reassembling Skeleton. Good. Although there is a new card from um, Rivals of Ixalan that I believe is strictly better than Reassembling Skeleton. Um, and it's a warrior here, but that's not going to matter. So Goblin. Dark Imposter is fine. It, its ability never got used. Flashbag Marauder is good. Ditch Bloodshin Fanatic. Stinkweed Imp I think is good. Goblin. Vampire Nighthawk, very good. Grixis Battle Mage, I don't, I don't think it's really that useful. We'll ditch it. Nantuko Husk for sure. The sacrifice. Mardu Strike Leader is just, is just good. Um, we'll keep it as a maybe. Royal Assassin, good. Night Howl, oops. Night Howler, I like a lot. Drana, great for aggressive. Blood Husk Ritualist. I have sort of a black discard theme. I'll probably keep it, but. Let's put it in the maybe for now. We'll see. Get rid of Stink Drinker Bandit. Sangromancer is a maybe. I think Desecration Demon is good. I think Crypt Champion is mediocre. So we'll, we'll put that in the middle pile. Bone Picker, I like. Marsh Flitter is goblin based, so let's get rid of that. And Tumor Exarch is fine. Kalidus is great. Indulgent Tormentor. Um. Yeah, I think I like that card. Warren Pilfers. Guilt Leaf Winnower. I'm going to put in the medium pile. It's an elf, um, but it destroys a creature and it has menace. I think that's fine. Uh, Sidisi. I guess I'll keep Sidisi. Whirling Horror, we can get rid of all these giant suspend cards. Um, get rid of Archetype of Finality. Don't really care about that. I'm going to keep Herald of Anguish for the artifacts. The Flight Blood Lord is for the life gain. Let's put that in the maybe pile. And then Grizzlebrand, of course, a staple for reanimation. And we got Obnixilis and the Liana Vess for our Planeswalkers. We'll keep those. Uh, let's keep Dark Ritual. Supernatural Stamina can go away. Dash Hopes is a good maybe in the Black Counter spell. Uh, keep most of our removal. We've got Ultimate Price, Essence Extraction, Crypt Incursion, good for sideboards. Cutthroat Maneuver is a maybe. Wretched Confluence is fine. Despise is fine. Inquisition is fine. All these discard spells. Uh, Bone Splinters is a maybe. Profane Command. I like all the commands and modal spells and stuff. Uh, Exhume for reanimation. Never to Return and Ruinous Path for the Planeswalker removal since there is so much. Uh, read the Bones. Is good. Victimize is fine. Dread Return. All this reanimation stuff. Trying to make that more of a big deal. Yehenny's Expertise for removal. You can even see that. I like Remorseless Punishment a lot. I'm going to try to keep it in for now. Unbearer of Rights. Oh, Kindred Dominance. Get rid of that because of the tribal. Uh, Tysis will go in the middle. Shrieking Affliction. Um, I'll put that as a maybe. Illness in the ranks is good. Put that there. Ordeal of Erebos. Probably can get rid of that. Zombie infestation. Let's have that as a maybe. And I just put in over my dead bodies from Unstable. I have a few Unstable cards in here now. This is just hilarious. And I'm keeping it. So that's pretty good. Hopefully I'm taking out enough cards in these. It's hard enough to pick all of these guys. Um, so now we're on a red. All right. Just gonna make some snap decisions here, get through this as quick as possible. Grim Lava Mancer, good. Curd Ape, uh, good. Goblin Glory Chaser, medium. Goblin Pile Driver, get rid of goblins. Mog War Marshal, decent. Young Pyro, good. Plated Geopede, uh, medium. Kiln Fiend, good. Abbot of Carol Keep, uh, medium. Archetype of Aggression, let's ditch him. Gutter Snipe, medium. Combat Celebrant, good. Thopter Engineer, good. Goblin Rabble Master, no. Handweird Garrison, yes. Dualcaster Mage, yes. Reckless Bushwhacker, also good. Tari and Mauler, um, medium. Chandra Fire of Kaladesh, keep. Pyre Wild Shaman, get rid of. Is it Chemister, good. Goblin Warchief, nope. PNLR, I'm going to put as a medium. 
Krenko, get rid of that. I feel bad getting rid of all these amazing goblins, but if we're ditching tribal altogether, then we gotta get rid of them. Uh, we'll see if there's still room left in red. At the end, we'll put it back in goblins. Uh, Hellrider, good. Thunderbreak Regent, good. Hero of Oxid Ridge, also good. Pia and Kirin Nalar, fine. Uh, Bloodfire Enforcers, medium. Keldon Champion, medium. Beetleback Chief. Um, Wildfire Eternal, good. Charging Monster Sword, good. Xylus Conscripts, good. Thunder Ma, uh, Hellkite, we'll keep that, along with Glorybringer. Galvanoth, I think, is good for spells. Uh, Siege Gang Commander, uh, let's make that a medium. Uh, I think it's good on its own. Flesh Pulper Giant can go. This is just kind of a filler. And then we'll keep Chandra and Sarkon for our Planeswalkers. Uh, Burst Lightning, I think, is a medium. I mean, it is a better shock, but uh, I think I think we'll put it in the maybe palette for now. Dyna Charge can go away. Coordinated Assault is a medium. Lightning Axe is fine. I like that. Searing Spear. Smash to Smithereens. Uh, Shrapnel Blast will be a medium. Fury Charm is tempting. Let's let's put a medium on that. Uh, Magma Jet also put as a medium. Let's do Searing Blood. A Braid is good. I, I think I think a Braid means we can get rid of Fury Charm um, just because of the story target artifact. Maybe a Super Duper Death Ray I just put in. I am a huge fan of this card. Stagger Shock is kind of medium power level. Uh, Sulfurous Blast, I think, is good for a red board wipe. Thunderous Wrath, sure, get rid of that. Faithless Looting is good. Crater's Claws for the channel combo. Goblin Grenade, if we're getting rid of goblins. Uh, keep Pyroclasm. Keep Mizium Orders. Keep some of these red board wipes. Uh, Incendiary Flow. Ah, uh, medium. Honestly, it's just a lightning strike. Uh, tormenting Voice, good. Dragon Fodder. Mm, medium. Sea of Tokens, six round. Rift Bolt, I like. Exquisite Firecraft, I like as well. Collective Defiance, I like modes. Well, that's Assault for extra combat steps. I like Traitor's Instinct. Incendiary Command. Kindred Charge can go. Goblin Assault can go. Sulfuric Vortex gets to stay, and Vance's Blasting Cannons get to stay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oops, let's keep on trucking through to green. Again, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these choices. I am happy to change any of them. Uh, okay, let's get rid of Elves. Drug of Warcaller can go. Open Walled Tracker is medium. Experiment 1, I like. Essence Warden, uh, medium, depends on life gain. Lotus Cobra, good. Priest of Titania, Elf. Noose Constrictor, fine. Werebear, good. Herald of the Pantheon, for doing enchantments. Uh, I like Deep Root Champion, but let's put it at a medium. Talara's Battalion, I think is okay on its own. Let's put it at a medium. Thornweld Archer. Farseek is good. Sylvan Advocate is good. Scavenging Ooze is good. Genesis Hydra, I like. Uh, Rattleclaw Mystic, I can see putting that in a medium. I do like Beast Color Savant, though, and Deskwatch Recruiter. Thornscape Battle Mage, let's medium that. Voon Seder is good. Manglehorn, good artifact. Hate. Yavimaya Enchantress, I'll medium that. Eternal Witness is definitely being kept. Get rid of Azuri, because he's an elf. Farhaven Elf gets land. Pulls of Marasa is good. Witch Stalker is fun. Uh, on a Battle Mage, let's medium that. Although I do like it. Rishkar for counters. Imperious Perfect is an elf. Ronus is great. Uh, Dwynan's an elf, so I'll get rid of her. Vizier of the Menagerie, I like a lot. Champion of Ronus just hasn't done a ton of work. I'll put him in medium. Uh, Gamekeeper, I'll put in medium. It's a fine card. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's keep it medium. It's an elf, but that doesn't matter. Sorry. Um, Lissalana Huntmaster is an elf. Caller of the Untamed is uh, fine. I'll keep it at a medium. Bloodspore Thrinax I like. Briarhorn I like. Uh, Ridscale Tusker for the counters, but I'll, I'll put it down here in the middle just in case. Mycloth is good. Thragtus is good. Um, that might be reason to keep the Restoration Angel in, actually. Uh, Creeper Hulk I'll put as a medium. Soul Clash Spider, also a medium. 
I like Honored Hydra. I like Ulvenwald Hydra. I like Rampaging Baloths. Uh, World Breaker, I'll put as a medium depending on what our colorless lands look like. I think the Archetype of Endurance is another good thing to ramp up to, but we'll keep it at medium. Uh, our Planeswalkers. You know, I just realized that I, I had a Farseek in here, didn't I? This would be with my spells. <laughs> Not sure how that got out. Uh, Evolution Charm. Search for a land. Uh, return. This one actually seems better. Let's keep it at medium. Uh, become Immense I like. Prey Upon I like as well. Nature's Way, medium. Commune with the Gods, good. Channel, good. Eldritch Evolution, or, sorry, Farseek. <laughs> uh, Eldritch Evolution I like. This is Pilgrimage, I like. Harmonize, yeah, I like Harmonize. Spider Spawning is good. Primal Command is good. I need to cut more things. <laughs> Overwhelming Stampede is good. See the Unwritten is fun. Uh, Oath of Nyssa, Font of Fertility can go in the middle. Same with Vessel of, no, oh no, I like Vessel of Nascency, it's got Graveyard. Cryptolith Rite is good. Ordeal of Nylea, if we stick with Auras. Bow of Nylea, Medium, Autumnal Gloom, let's get rid of that. And then keep Ancestral Mask and Presence of Gond can go away, I guess. Okay, that's something. Now I'm not sure for multicolored how many I should get rid of in each color combination. So we'll see what happens here. I might have to go through it last sort of after I do everything else. So there's all my multicolored. Yeah, so if we're looking at is it first. Uh, teleportal can go. Let's keep Joyra. Prophetic Bolt's kind of in the middle. Is it Charm is good. Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. Uh, Guild Mage and Sahili. Uh, yeah, let's do that for now. I'll probably have to cut something else. For Red White, uh, I like a Johnny. I like Assemble the Legion. I like Erewis. I like Boros Charm. Figure of Destiny, maybe we can go and we'll keep these guys in uh, the middle. Green black. Um, Nath can go away. I like the rest of these though. Let's maybe Golgari Charm. Uh, I do enjoy the rest though. Let's try to keep them. Blue green. I like Rashmi. I like Zamic Guildmage for counters. Simic Charm, whatever. I like Bounty. Complete Feather Cockatrice and Sages of the Anima can be in the middle. And I have to have a Planeswalker in each two color pair. Uh, I find it hard to get rid of charms just because I, I like the cycles, but I think breaking cycles is something I should do. I like Camball. Orzov Charm is whatever. Definitely get rid of the Chief of the Edge. Hidden Stockpile. Underworld Coinsmith. Guild Mage, Soren. Okay, that works. Even if we just cut one multicolored card, I think that's better than nothing. Okay, uh, green, white. I like prepare to fight. Loxodon Smiter is whatever. Slesnia Charm, good. Ajani, good. Armada Worm, whatever. Tremogus Command, good. Maybe get rid of Guild Mage for the tokens and populate and stuff. That's whatever. All right, blue white Azorius Charm doesn't do a lot. Skymark Rock medium. Uh, New Prop Guild Mage medium. Uh, Thunderclap Wyvern medium. Yeah, let's go with that. Ojutai and Reflector Mage are good, and we'll see about the rest of these guys. All right, Demir Sire of Stagnation medium. Baleful Strix good. Dusk Mantle. I don't have any mills, so we can probably get rid of him. Tezzeret, um, I like Consign, but that's okay. Uh, Demir Charm and Agony Warp. Let's do that. You know, Agony Warp's probably the most boring of all these. It's useful, but whatever. Let's try it that way. Gruel. Gruel Charm is whatever. Bloodbraid Elf is good. Savage Event Maw is medium, although I like the mana. 
Ulric, Burning Tree, Sarkon, Scar Guild Mage. Uh, if you didn't see, I got this Foil Sarkon out of a Shards of Alara pack, which is pretty, pretty sweet. That happened while doing a Chaos Draft the other day. Um, Rakdos, got uh, Doretti, we'll keep that. Rakdos Charm, it's a good graveyard. Hey, I just got Grusilda Monster Masher, which I like. Um, Boltwing Marauder, Cathari Bomber. Let's do Rick Smithy Guild Mage in there as well, and keep Unlicensed Disintegration. Gonna have to really think about these a lot. Then we have our 10 three color cards. I'm gonna keep them all for now and then sort of see what happens. Okay, uh, colorless. Let's keep Ornithopter, get rid of Metallic Mimic, get rid of Elf Replica, keep Burnished Heart, keep Filigree Familiar, keep Treasure Keeper, uh, let's keep Snarethopter, Precursor Golem, uh, we'll see how many spells we get. Mirror Battlesphere, keep that. Keep Elder Deep Fiend, keep Blight Steel Colossus. Skull Clamp is good. Soul Ring, people have been telling me to take it out. I'm gonna do it. Um, we got all the Signets, which I'm going to keep. Just added Isochron Scepter, which should be fun. Smuggler's Copter, I like. I appear to be having some trouble focusing here. There we go. Uh, Treasure Map, I'm a big fan of. Rune Chanter's Pike. Put that in the medium. Oketra's Monument can go in the medium. Life Cafter's Bestiary is good. Sword of Vengeance, good. Edifice of Authority. An Untethered Express can be medium. Nev's Disc. Trading Post, medium. Door of Destinies is tribal. Coat of Arms is tribal. Vanquisher's Banner is tribal. Marari is good for spells. And Pyromancer's Goggles is good for spells. Good enough. We'll see what comes out of that. And then we just have lands left. Um, I'm not sure if I need to take out any lands. So I've got two of each um, for two color lands. I have the bounce lands in enemy colors. I have the creature lands in enemy colors. I have uh, you know various lands in ally colors. And then I have um, the ally colored poor man's fetch lands. The, uh, um, oh god, what set is that? I already forgot. <laughs> and then the tri lands. Uh, I guess we can get rid of unclaimed territory for one thing. Um, yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else here I want to get rid of. Maybe the second cycle of, uh, of colored lands. I can keep the vivid lands and get rid of these guys. Put them at medium and keep everything else. Sounds good. Okay guys, that is my initial sorting. I'm going to take some time to look through these and see what I want to do. Uh, let me know over the next couple days if this is uh, a, you know, a good cut. If you agree or disagree with anything, please let me know. I want to take your advice. Um, if there's any cards that you think are problematic or just not synergistic, let me know. Uh, the Cube Tutor link is in the description. So for now, you'll be able to see what it's like before I change it. And uh, yeah, have a great day. I'll be looking forward to your comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye.